Covering Local 5 politics, the absentee ballot controversy continues tonight. The Iowa Democratic Party filed a lawsuit against Iowa Secretary of State Paul Pate to validate over 64,000 pre-filled absentee ballot requests that Democrats believe were unlawfully invalidated last week. Secretary Pate issued a directive last month that only blank forms could be sent to voters. Democrats say that Secretary Pate isn't working for voters. It is absolutely outrageous that the Secretary of State's position um, is that voters who have done everything right, uh, who received uh, an absentee ballot application with information uh, helpful to their application being pre-filled, should now face disenfranchisement in the middle of uh, a pandemic uh, and natural disasters. County auditors in Johnson, Lynn, and Woodbury counties sent more than 200,000 pre-filled forms. The Iowa GOP, as well as the Republican National Committee and President Trump's re-election campaign, sued Lynn and Woodbury County auditors, and two judges agreed with them. Here's what the Iowa GOP had to say in part, quote, Three county auditors knowingly broke Iowa law several weeks ago. They knew what they were doing was wrong, what it would cost the taxpayers of their counties, and even publicly dared someone to sue them. The blame for this should be laid directly at their feet. And Iowa Secretary of State Paul Pate also released a statement about this new lawsuit. He said in part, quote, It is unfortunate that the Democratic Party is now opposed to a statewide mailing of absentee ballot request forms. They apparently only want voters in Democrat-heavy counties to request ballots using request forms pre-filled with voters' personal information. 